years rise. So today I'm taking again next lecture series seven one, in which I'm taking the formulae from product to sum of trigonometric functions. This is formulae from product to sum of trigonometric functions. Sum to so product to sum uh, we in the previous lectures we discussed from I mean uh, in the fifth one sum and a different form. Okay. Some in difference formula, but in the product form. Now in product form to some form. And again, in the second series transformation of the same formula from sum to difference. I mean, sorry, sum and difference to product. This is from product to sum and difference, or sorry, sum and difference is also there here. From product to sum and difference. And here it is from sum and difference to product transformation. These are two types of formula. These are also very important one. Questions based on these questions are mostly asked okay, in the examinations. Okay, and every student of science, I mean you know, mathematics, student, especially the trigonometry, okay, must know about these formula, how to draw them, how to solve questions based on them. I'll take questions based on this lecture series, the next lecture series. I always first describe the topic, okay, formula, what are the formula are there. Then the next lecture series. I'll just clarify that how these are drawn, okay, how we have to drive them. Question is, and then questions based on these formulas. So this is the process of my teaching here, okay. Because I first clarify the topic, what is the definition, everything, how to describe every formula of this, every formula of this assignment. So all the formulae which are based on product to sum and the difference, or product to sum. And difference is also there, what the difference is there. Okay, and then sum and a difference to product transformation. So we are the uh, from five to eight. Okay, five. We are five to eight. Questions are from sum and difference to product, and first four questions are from product to sum, product to sum and difference. All right. The other question. Now let me take this type one by one. All these formulae which are important. So first, let me describe that how. Okay, to prove, let me take, to prove the first question, to sign A into cos B is equal to sign of A plus B plus sign A minus B. So this is the first equation. Now, some questions are taken here from uh, question 9 onwards up to 18. Nine questions are taken based on these critical questions and directly related to these questions, these formulae. And after that, I'll take a detailed exercise because a number of questions are asked by the student regarding these topic. Okay, or I mean these questions, these formulae. So I'll take them in detail because a number of questions are there. After them, I'll select some important one which mostly asked to this you know, asked by the uh, examiners or okay in the Test class test and then okay or in the engineering exam in science science students exams etc etc or mostly in trigonometry uh, okay subject and let me take this so how this is driven to this first we have to understand that how to sign a cos b this is sign a cos b equal to first sign of sum of the two ends plus sign of difference of two ends okay this we have to do now we have studied that means Proof this or solution. Proof or solution. The idea proof. Oh, now we know that the lecture series number five or the sixth as a well question based on the okay formula based uh, in the lecture series five. I discussed about some and different formula. Okay. So from there we know that there are two sign formulae. We know that sine of a plus b is equal to okay sine two sine this is sine a plus b is equal to sorry sine a cos b plus sine cos plus sine it is plus in between cos a sine b okay this is of sine a plus b sine a plus b value sin a plus b is equal to sorry the sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and 
the difference formula for sine a minus b. This is in lecture series 5. I have described them with the help of your geometrical figure. I have described that this is equal to this. And sine a minus b equal to this. The same formula only with the different sign. Cos b minus cos a sine. Same formula. Sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. And for sine a plus b, it is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Cos a sine b, sine a sine b. Same. You know, only different sign. If it is plus, then plus, minus, minus. In case of sine, the same sign is maintained. If it is plus in the beginning, then in the result of this, or the sum of these two values, there is some, some sign of, or I mean, this positive sign. And then, in case of different sign, I mean, minus sign, then there is minus sign, in case of sign. But in case of cos, it is just opposite. If it is plus, then minus, minus, plus. That I'll discuss in the next lecture. Okay, so this is the point here. Now, if I add these two, adding these two because this is plus sign, this is suppose, let me take this, it's first equation, this is second equation. Adding first and second, adding first and the second equations, we get, what do we get here? So we get here, this is sine a plus b in the left hand side plus sine a minus b in the left hand side is equal to here we see these two are same with positive sign this is plus and this is minus cancel out so here we will have only twice sine a into cos b these two are added the two sine a cos b this is 2 sine a cos b equal to sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. What the point? This is root. Hence, root or we can write 2 sine a cos b equal to sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. This is the first question which we have solved, which we have proved. This is there. But one must know about what are the formula for sin a plus b and sin a minus b. That is the basic requirement here. Okay. So one should understand that what are the formula for sum of 2 minus a plus b in case of sin. Sin a plus b and difference of 2 minus a minus b. What is sin a minus b? Only those two, these two formula must be known. I mean then, then we can calculate this or we can solve this. We can prove this. This is question number 1. Okay, now let us talk about second topic. Question number second now. What did it say? Okay, now question number second. Or formula number, formula number, formula number two. This is two cos a sine b. We prove. We prove. Cos A to cos A sin B is equal to sin A plus B minus sin A minus B is equal to sin A plus B minus sin A minus B. Again, with the same logic, one must know, we know that we prove this solution or proof. We know from sum and difference formula sum and difference formula of trigonometric functions of trigonometric functions what the sign of a plus b is equal to sign a cos b plus cos a sin b this is equation number one and sine of a minus b equal to sine same formula but only different sign here minus then minus plus then plus as I wrote in the first equation same question is here into sine this is second equation 
Now subtracting second from first. Now subtracting. Subtracting second from first. We get we get here. This is sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. When we subtract, we always change the signs. This is minus sign, this is minus sign, this is plus sign. Okay, so these two now are cancelled out because this is plus, this is minus. Same, same values. But these are now added up. This is sine a plus b. Sine a plus b minus sine a minus b is equal to sum of these two. This is the force of a into sine of b. This is your question number two. So, hence, or we can say, or two force a sine b is equal to sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. This is your second equation. Two cos a sine two cos a sine b is equal to sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. Simple. And this is your second formula. This is for product formula, product to sum on difference. This is difference and the first one by from product to sum. So product to sum or different formula. We are talking about now let us take question number three. Okay. Now question number three is based on cos only cos a plus b and cos a minus b. Let us take question number three. This is cos of a or cos of b. Okay. Is equal to we have to prove this is cos a plus b plus cos of a minus b. Let us prove for find the solution. Solution or proof. Okay, so we know that we know from sum and difference formula. Formula of trigonometric functions. As you know, cos of a plus b, cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Try to understand. Here it is cos. In case of cos, if it is plus, then it is minus sin in between. The first cos a cos b, then sin a sin b. In case of sin, you have sin a cos b minus cos a sorry plus cos a sin b. So in that case, a uh, combination of sine and cos, sine and cos, sine cos, cos sine in case of sine. But in case of this, the same trigonometric functions, cos a cos b, or trigonometric wave function, cos a cos b, sine a sine difference. And what is cos a minus b? This also we know this is cos a cos b minus or plus sine sin is sin, not plus sin, or minus it is plus, or plus it is minus. See that this is let's take first equation, second equation. Now adding first and second. Adding first and second. So we get, what do we get here? This cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to this these two are cancelled out okay these two because this plus this is negative this is positive this is negative but this is plus sign this is minus sign it is two cos a cos b two cos a cos b hence we can say two cos a cos b two cos a into cos b is equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. Okay, this is proved. 
and two. This is your third formula. Question number three or question formula number three. This is two cos a cos b equal to this. All right, this question number three we have completed. Let me talk about question number four now. Okay, so question number four. What does it say? Let me check. Okay, now question number four. What did you say? Question number four is two sine a sine b. Two sine a into sine b is equal to cos a minus b. Try to understand this is first cos a minus b and minus cos a plus b. This is the only difference here. First coming negative minus difference. The second coming with the negative sign. That is, I mean, sum, sum of the two elements. This is difference of two elements. A minus b and this is a plus b. So this is the difference here. Try to remember this. That in case of cos, two sine a sine b, or the fourth formula. This is fourth question or fourth formula. Here in this case, this is cos a minus b and cos a plus b. Cos a plus b is coming later with negative sign. I'll just talk about this in three ways. What are the three formulae? Now, if I write this plus sign, if I write cos a plus b first, then minus this. So we have to multiply minus sign. So in this left hand side, there will be minus sign. Minus 2 sin a sin b. Then it will be. So try to understand. If it is minus 2 sin a sin b, then cos a plus b minus cos a minus b, it will be. If it is positive in the left hand side, in the, in the product form, if it is positive, then this cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. This is the only difference try to understand. Okay, so this is the two form. Either way we can write if we write the same form first cos a plus b then cos a minus b and this cos a plus a plus b first then minus cos a minus b then we have to write here minus and the left hand side. Okay, so this is let me take solution of this or proof solution or proof. Again we know that. What is the uh, from some formula? We know from sum and difference formulae of trigonometric functions. Sum and difference formulae of trigonometric functions. What are those? We know that cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b. Minus sine a sine b. Sine a sine b. Okay, and this cos and cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. This is plus sine a sine b. Okay, so this is first equation. Second equation. Now either we have to yeah, subtract. Here we have to subtract this one from this, or if we subtract second from first, we can subtract. So let me subtract first from second, or second from first. So subtracting, subtracting second equation from first, we get. So we have to put here minus sign. We have to put here negative sign, negative sign, negative sign. Because all, all are positive in the lower line. I mean lower this line. So this is cos a, a minus b with plus sign, but it is now negative. We are subtracting. In case of subtraction, we change the sign of the lower uh, okay numbers. Okay, so on these terms, I mean on the lower terms, this is the uh, from positive, so it become negative. It is positive, it become negative. With plus sign, it will become negative here. Put here negative sign. Here we put negative sign. Before the term we put negative sign or plus sign. If it is plus, then negative. If it is minus, then it is plus. Okay, negative part. Now these two are negative. They will be added up. So in the right hand side, 
and these two are positive and negative now cancel out. This is minus two sine a sine b negative sine equal to here it is cos a plus b minus cos of a minus b. This is with negative signs in there. Just see as I did tell you in the in the beginning that if it is minus sign in the right in the left hand side like this minus two sine a sine b then it is cos a plus b minus cos a minus b if I take minus sign to this side or this implies that two sine a sine b positive equal to first right this negative positive it becomes positive you have to multiply the minus sign to the left hand side also so to make it positive this cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. See the difference here. Yes, we are multiplied with negative sign. Both sides with negative sign. Then it will become positive. But this second term will become positive because this is negative. But if you multiply with minus sign, then it will become positive. And the first term will become negative. This is positive. Thanks, good. Only this we have to keep in mind. That here is plus sign and minus sign or this sum formula is later or first that it will be remembered. I think that is an important point. Now let me take question number five. Okay, now before formula the transformation of these formulae from sum and difference to product. From sum and difference formulae. Now we are talking about transformation of these products to sum now sum to product that means change them this is the other now we are talking about transformation transformation of sum and difference for movie to product form to product form of trigonometric functions that is now from 5 to 8 from trigonometric functions so this is from question number 5 to 8 4 formulae they are also very important used ok so here we have to prove every day first now it says we have to prove that sine c plus sine d is equal to 2 sine c plus d upon 2 into cos c minus d upon 2. Okay, so this is the question we have. Now, to prove this, we have to just go to the first question, question number 1. Okay, for that we have to just assume from first equation from question number one and moving here solution or let me prove it from question one we have what we have we have here two sine a cos b two sine a cos b is going to be sine a plus b plus sine a minus b try to understand that the point here now putting a plus b this a plus b is equal to c and a minus b is equal to d capital D let me take putting a plus b equal to c in this equation and a minus b equal to d so it will be sine c plus sine d if I put here C and D, so we have to find out what is A and B then. Okay, so just adding them, adding these, we have to take this is the first equation, this is the second equation, this is number one and equation number two, adding these two, adding these two. So we get what we get here twice A B B cancelled out, this is twice A equal to C plus D. 
what we see here is if that is a is equal to c plus b upon this is the value of a a is c plus b upon q and then if i substitute this value of a either in first or second or just let me subtract the second equation from first and let me take subtract and subtracting and subtracting second to from first from first then in that situation what what it will be in that situation it will be this if i subtract second from first then it will be negative it will be plus b minus sign we change the sign of the lower terms it is this is positive so it will become negative the negative it will become positive it is positive it will become negative now this is c minus d but here b and p will be added up because they are now plus a and a cancel out twice b from this b of n twice b is equal to c minus d or b is equal to c minus d upon 2 only this is the difference if i substitute transform the value of a and b in terms of c and d then a is c plus d upon 2 and b will be c minus d upon 2 that's the difference so we have to just put these values a plus b equal to c and a minus b equal to d okay in the first fourth formula so we will transform this formula to this this one let me do one by one so a is equal to c plus d by 2 you have to remember them and b is equal to c minus d by 2 and a plus b equal to c b assumed and a minus b is equal to d okay, so let me keep them or put them in the given equation in this one if i keep it will be twice into sine sorry sine a sine a a is here c plus b by b. cos b that is cos b b means c minus b upon 2 but b of n here a equal to c plus d by 2 b equal to c minus d by 2 is equal to this sine c plus this is sine d Okay, so sin c plus sin d is equal to therefore this implies that sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. That is the point. Hence put this is question number 5. We have completed sin c plus sin d equal to sin c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by d at the point and so we have transformed the sum and difference formula to product form first by product to sum and difference now sum and difference to product form and they are obtained from the first four questions only okay that is from first question we have obtained this equation under to take from second question the sixth question sixth transformation let me turn this on question number six also so question number six now now we have to prove here for a sin c sin c plus minus sin c sorry. this is minus sin d this is minus sin d this is sin c minus sin d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. Okay, so this we have to prove in question number 6. Sin c minus sin d, sin c minus sin d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. Again, the same form we have to prove in the same way but because i have already assumed that uh, a comes comes out to be c plus d by 2 and b comes out to be c minus d by 2 that i put and a plus b equal to c we have assumed or we put and c minus d by so sorry c d equal to a minus b so in the formula number second 
from second from second question we have two cos a into sin b equal to sin of a plus b minus sin a minus b the same thing putting a plus b is equal to c a minus b is equal to d this implies that a is equal to c plus d by 2 and the b is equal to c minus d by 2 in this equation we have sin c minus sin d sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos a a means c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 what the point this is the proof this is the question number 6 6 formula and proof in this way also this formula are in the from sum and differential product form ok and from product to sum or different form that is the question number 6 we have done similarly we can do 7th and 8th question let me take them also ok now question number 7 now we have cos c plus cos d is equal to twice cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d upon by 1 c that upon cos 2 cos c plus d by 2 into d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 7 cos c plus cos d and that means that this cos c plus cos d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 again solution now from that question third one from question number three from question three we have to cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b ok again putting the same value putting a plus b is equal to c a minus b is equal to c adding and subtracting so we will get and